Hello, fellow brawlers. I'm Kara Simon. It is time for 47 features that I want in Brawl Stars. I'm talking about everything from creating our own brawlers to more advanced combat mechanics, creating our own game modes to improvements in Power League, and pretty much anything else I could think of. But let's start off with some quality of life features that I would like to see. First up, I want an option to be able to switch brawlers and still play again for those times when I actually find good random teammates, and I just want to switch brawlers for like quests or just because. Speaking of which, I'd also like to be able to see which brawlers I have quests for when playing again with randoms so that I can then quickly switch and stay with the same good teammates. And now that we have 50 brawlers in the game, Supercell, please allow us to sort our brawlers alphabetically. Currently, the easiest sorting method to remember is just sorting by rarity. They're then secondarily sorted according to when brawlers were released, which who remembers that? That's way more confusing than alphabetically. And with so many brawlers in the game, it is especially annoying in Power League when you need to be able to find a brawler fast. The next feature I'd like to see is the ability to switch one quest every week. Not all brawlers are good all the time. I'd like to be able to switch a quest from Jackie to a brawler that's actually good right now like Bell. I'd also love to be able to switch a quest from a game mode that I don't enjoy to one that I do enjoy. Surely one quest swap a week wouldn't be too much to ask for, right? And if it is, just allow us to re-roll a quest. That, that would be nice. Just a little button just like, boom, re-roll. Are you ever in the middle of combat and go to choose an emote that you realize that you don't currently have equipped to the current brawler. That happens to be all the time. Sometimes I want the little sweat drop. Sometimes I want the angry. Sometimes I want the sad. Sometimes I want the happy. Sometimes I want the thumbs up. And honestly, I don't think there are enough pin slots. I buy them every single chance that I get, and I don't always know which pins I'm going to want to use before I jump into a match, which is why I think that we need two more pin slots, one more brawler pin, and then one more player pin slot. That would be seven total spots, plus one for muting and unmuting emotes, which brings me to the next feature I'd like, but first, I wanted to give a big thank you to Knight's Edge for sponsoring this video. You're going to want to try it out to download using the link below. Now, Knight's Edge is partnering with Tribe, and myself and other Tribe creators actually work together with the developers to make our own special stages. The Tribe axes have been stolen, and you need to beat our challenges to win them back. In my match, time is sped up, so you go crazy fast, and you fire ridiculously fast, and you have to dodge a ton of projectiles as you go, which is actually really fun. OJ, Lex, and the other Tribe creators made their own stages and if you beat them all, you'll be rewarded with your very own set of tribe armor. Plus, you're going to want to watch all of our channels for our special codes. If you redeem all of them, you'll actually earn special rewards and an exclusive tribe emote. My code right here is Tim is fake because we all know that I'm the real Kairos. Knight's Edge is actually a really cool game. It's kind of like an action arcade shooter game, but it actually combines PvP in there. So you literally have PvP and PvE in every match. Battles are 3v3 and your goal is for you and your teammates to defeat the final boss before the enemy team. And as you progress through the level, you get power-ups, which make you stronger and give you cool abilities. But the trick is that you can actually enter portals to the enemy's arena and sabotage them by killing them while they're trying to take out their monsters. Click the link below to download Knight's Edge completely for free on iOS and Android. Do it now so you don't miss the tribe event. I wanted to give a big thank you to Knight's Edge for this really cool opportunity to be a part of their game and also to thank you for them for sponsoring this video and thank you for supporting my channel by watching. Knight's Edge download now. A quick emote selection wheel. Just hold your finger on the emote button, then slide to the emote that you want to share and let go to emote, right? I know it might not seem like much, but it would be way faster than the current selection process, which I know takes two presses. It's not really a big deal, but being able to just do one quick motion would be really awesome. I wish that the Star Park entrance had an option to somehow refill your gadgets so you didn't have to leave and rejoin when you're just messing around with gadgets, right? Honestly, I feel like when you're in the testing area, you just should have infinite gadget uses anyway, but a button to refill them would work as well. Okay, now I know that this next feature might not be something that most people would really love, but you know, I could be wrong. Maybe you guys would love this. Supercell, I am begging you to allow us to have some sort of a streamer mode or private mode where people cannot spectate you and they cannot see when you're in and out of matchmaking. Now, this isn't an issue that most people have, but one reason I personally don't like pushing my brawlers up to like 750 trophies or any higher than that is because of people specifically jumping into matchmaking with counter comps just so that they can play against me and beat me. I get it. I almost have 800,000 subscribers on YouTube. Almost. So 
If you want to subscribe, that'd be nice. But people want the screenshot. They want the clout. They want to go in there and say, hey, I played Kairos time. I beat him. And they specifically come with brawlers that counter whatever I am playing. This is a common issue for YouTubers, streamers, pro players, and many other types of players. And it's incredibly frustrating. Plus, I know there's a lot of you that just don't want people to be able to spectate you, right? You want to come on. You want to appear AFK and you don't want the pressure of people being able to spectate you. It is way too easy for people to stream snipe other players or target them if you you know how to do it. I'm not going to explain how to do it because I don't want any of you guys doing it anyway. But yes, some sort of a streamer mode or some way, even hidden in the settings where we can do that so that people can't see when we're going into matchmaking and they cannot spectate us to see what brawlers we're playing. OK, now it's time for us to talk about a really special brawler concept, and then we'll talk about new game modes that I want in the game. Now, I've talked about this in my brawl theory videos, but just in case you missed it, part of Star Corp's diabolical plan is to take over the universe by creating super powerful beings called brawlers. And they have transformed people in their universe or their world or whatever into brawlers. And as we've learned, we have to worry about them turning us into brawlers, which is why this next brawler concept is a brawler named you as in you right now watching this video right now you you is a brawler that you can customize however you'd like right you can switch hairstyles and colors to look like you however you want you can switch skin color as well maybe even you want to go with a, a spike green skin right and then there are some options for brawl stars merch and clothing right the idea is that it is you in a theme park called star park but you know you go there as a as a you <laughs> And now you're in the game. But more important than what you look like is whichever weapon and accessory you have equipped. The idea is that you can choose which weapon that you can have and the weapon that you would pick would determine your attack and the accessory that you would pick would determine your super. And when you is released, I think it would make sense for them to have like three different options for attack weapons, a sword, a grenade or a sniper rifle. When you have a sword equipped, you would have a melee attack. And when you have a grenade equipped and this would all happen before you enter at an actual match you can't sw swap in the middle of a match then use attack or your attack would be like a thrower and then obviously if you picked up a sniper rifle then you would have a long range attack now on top of this you have three different accessories that you could choose from which would actually determine what your super would be one accessory could be a jetpack that allows you to do a super jump another accessory could be a remote that activates an airstrike for your super another could be a smokescreen bomb that heals you and makes you go invisible for a short period of time I know a lot of these sound like brawler super that are already in the game, but this that's the idea. You are a brawler and you get to play however you want. You can literally choose whichever weapon and super you'd want to have for your own unique play style. Now, obviously, this type of a brawler concept is something that would take Supercell longer to produce than like a regular brawler. And it could be kind of messy to balance, especially at first. But once Supercell set it up, they could actually theoretically release more new brawler abilities into the game without actually having to create more brawlers because they could just add more weapons and accessories to choose from so that there could be like a, a support you or a spawner you or a healer you or a sharpshooter you or anything else the Supercell wanted to add. And that would essentially allow you to completely create a brawler however you'd like and customize it so that it looks like you so you could be a brawler. And what I'm really curious to know about is if this is something that, uh, that you would really want in the game. Would you like it or would you prefer for Supercell to just spend more time developing other brawlers instead? By the way, I want to give a huge thank you to Gamba who actually theorized this and like gave me the brawler idea concept. As soon as I heard I was like, that's an awesome idea, and it fits so well with Brawl Stars lore. I want it. OK, now let's talk about new game modes. And then I wanted to talk about map maker features that I would like to see. It's been a long time since we've last seen any additions to the special weekend events. In the past, we've already talked about wanting some sort of like a, a dungeon crawler special event. But I'd also like to see some changes to the current weekend events that we have. One cool thing would be if we had additional bosses in both Boss Fight and Super City Rampage to keep those game modes more interesting. I don't know about you guys, but I'm no longer excited for those special events on the weekend. And I would like to see Supercell change things even more. And they don't have to introduce a whole new game mode to make them more interesting. They just have to add some more characters into them. These different bosses would have different abilities. It would make using more brawlers a little bit more or less helpful. They could even add like fake versions of the actual brawlers for Robo Rumble so they could make that game mode even more interesting. Also, Supercell has clearly been experimenting with a lot of different temporary game modes, like the summer of Volley Brawl and Basket Brawl. And I would personally really like it if Supercell started experimenting with game modes very differently, like Basket Brawl. I I feel like would be perfect as a 2v2 game mode 
four players in a match, right? And I, I've been asking for a 5v5 game mode in such a long time. 5v5 knockout on a bigger map than normal sounds like so much fun. And yes, you technically can go and play it in showdown and play it like that, right? But then there's like charging your own super, you accidentally hit your teammates, you can't heal your teammates with healers. And I personally think that Supercell could add all sorts of cool new game modes just by allowing us to play with different number of characters. And I know this is taking things a whole other level, but can you imagine playing showdown with 20 players instead of just 10? That sounds awesome, and I would love to play that. I'd also love a special event like maybe on the weekend where you can just play random game mode, random brawlers, where everyone gets randomly assigned a brawler, you don't get to choose their star power or their gadget, and you play those brawlers on a random map. And I, I just feel like that could be really fun. Obviously, it could be completely unfair, and you could get super lucky or super unlucky, depending on what happened. I just feel like I'm ready for Supercell to start just like loosening the reins and just like start doing all sorts of crazy weird stuff. Then again, and that actually doesn't sound too different than actually playing with randoms. Now, maybe a better thing for Supercell is rather than actually creating new game modes themselves is allowing us to create game modes, not just map maker, but game mode maker. Hey, if Supercell doesn't want to mess around with adjusting player accounts, let us adjust player accounts, right? Let us choose to have a 1v1 in a tiny bounty map or a 2v2 in Brawl Ball or a 4v4 or even a 5v5, right? I'd also love to be able to do crazy Crazy ideas like 1v5, similar to big game. And speaking of big game, it would be super awesome if we could enable certain players to be giant versions of themselves in big game so that we can make other types of game modes. Like imagine a 5v5 where both teams had one giant brawler on their team and whichever team kills the enemy giant brawler first ends up winning. Now in order for Supercell to allow us to create different game modes like that, we would have to be able to adjust the winning conditions for each match. It'd be super cool if we could adjust both the damage and the health of the siege bots and Ike turrets so that we could make a classic 5v5 MOBA type game mode with multiple turrets and whoever kills the enemy Ike wins, right? It'd also be cool if we could play Brawl Ball with three balls and three goals and in order for you to win, you have to score five points, right? It'd also be cool to put multiple gem mines on a map in gem grab and make it so whichever team holds 20 gems first wins instantly without any countdown. I'd love to be able to adjust not only the amount of rounds in a knockout match, but also how how many lives or respawns you get. Imagine playing one long match of knockout, but instead of a best of three, it's just one long round and everyone has three lives. It's not that different, but it could also be super fun. I'd love to try Siege, except that both teams spawn a boss robot at the same time, depending on how many bolts each team has picked up, and you have to help defeat the enemy boss before you can go to the enemy Ike turret, or maybe even they go down separate lanes, so you have to choose whether you're gonna go on offense or defend an enemy push. This sounds like a whole lot, and Maybe it's too much. Maybe this whole video is too much. But if they do allow us to create our own game modes, they'll probably add more features into the map maker than they have right now. I'm not talking about just being able to like make our own knockout maps or our own basketball maps, but more modifiers like a range modifier where everyone has two times the range or a modifier that gives everybody infinite ammo. I'd personally love to see a fog of war modifier where you can't see behind walls or bushes. So you have to physically be in line of sight in an enemy brawler to see them. Also, this is a little off topic, but. While we're talking about modifiers and friendly rooms, I'd love a feature where you could just be a host in a friendly room without actually having to play the match, but also being able to spectate it live without any delay. It's a small feature, but it would be great for hosting your own tournaments, especially if the host was able to choose the maps and modifiers without somebody else having to do it themselves. I'd also love to see more tiles added to the map maker, like a sentry gun where you have to go onto a specific control point and after you control it for a certain period of time, then it activates a giant gun that fights for you until, you're, until the enemy team destroys it. I'd also like a similar tile that activates a healing station that similarly can be destroyed by the enemy team. But unlike the healing tile that's already in the game, it doesn't heal both sides. It only heals one team at a time. Another cool tile might be a supercharged tile that passively charges your super if you're close to it, kind of like Bo's super totem. This in itself could create a whole new meta in any game mode. I'd also love to be able to create power cube spawners that pop up power cubes every 10 seconds or so, so that you not only are you fighting over like a gem grab mine or over the brawl ball, but you're like, I'm gonna go grab a power cube, right? And get stronger. That'd be awesome. Or maybe even in, in Bounty or, or Showdown, right? Now, another interesting thing about the game is that with wall breakers being so common in the meta right now, I'd love to see one-way walls that cannot be destroyed by supers, except for the fact that they do get taken out if they take a certain amount of damage, right? And the trick with these walls would be that they would also respawn 30 seconds after being destroyed, so the map would actually change throughout the match, rather than just getting wide open and cleared, right? And one team could shoot through blue walls and 
the, the red team would have to destroy blue walls, and but the blue team couldn't destroy red walls. You guys get the idea. It'd be interesting. Honestly, there's so much else that, that could be added to the map maker, and I could talk about stuff <laughs> all day long. But there are more map maker features that I'd like to see. I'd love to be able to just play other people's maps with by inputting a map code or by clicking on a link or something like that. I'd also love to have twice as many map slots for those who love map making, like myself, so we could save all of our favorite maps. Um, next is kind of off topic, but I'd really like it if the developers were a little bit more public about Brawl Stars lore straight up within the game instead of having to figure out lore outside of the game. Here's the thing. I know a lot of Brawl Stars lore, and many of you guys watching this video know a lot about Brawl Stars lore, but I would guess that most people have no idea that Enz has a crush on Poco or that Piper and Rico have a thing for each other. If you follow social media for Brawl Stars and you follow YouTube channels, then you know. So it sounds like I'm saying you guys don't know. You guys probably already know those types of things. But I would love it if more information on each brawler was available in the game. Just tap on the brawler and click on a little I for info or lore or something like that. And it could just tell us some stuff like which part of the park they come from or which other brawlers they have relationships with or interests in and maybe even their age or even just a general information about the brawler. For example, when Nita was first put into Brawl Stars and when it was first released, it was very it clearly named her bear Bruce, and that's been removed from the game. I don't even know if it's canon anymore. I I feel like it is. He's Bruce. He always will be Bruce. But people that are new to Brawl Stars aren't going to download the game and know who I'm talking about when I say Bruce. This type of stuff should be in the game. It should be easy to find. And I like that Supercell adds to the lore outside of the actual game. I, I like that a lot. I don't want them to stop doing that. I like the additional information we get. I'm just obsessed with Brawl Stars and I want more lore. Give it to me. And on that note, let's talk about clubs. We know that Supercell is changing clubs. We also know they're working to make clubs more a meaningful part of playing Brawl Stars. We don't know how they'll do it. We don't know exactly when they'll do it, although we think that it will happen soon. I'm looking forward to it. We do know that they are going to be decreasing the club amount to 30 players, and I still haven't figured out how that's going to impact things. A lot of people are speculating on Club Wars, and I would really like Club Wars, and I think that Supercell has Club Wars in mind. I hope they have it in mind, because I've been speculating on it for a really long time. I guess we'll have to see. Let's talk about some improvements to Power League that I want to see, and then let's talk about more advanced combat mechanics, and I got a lot to share about that. First up, Supercell, please allow us to suggest brawlers in Power League. I don't want something like the current suggest a brawler feature in regular game modes. I don't want to have to choose, hey, you, Joe, play Sprout. Oh, dang it. Joe didn't pick Sprout. Okay, Sally, you pick Sprout, right? I want to be able to just suggest Sprout and it sit up there and maybe they don't want to play Sprout, but then I could suggest like two or three other brawlers and they could all just be sitting there and then the teammates could pick from that list, right? I'm not personally saying I would be upset if teammates picked a different brawler than what I suggested, but some people don't know who to pick and me just giving a suggestion might really help our team do well, especially in random solo queue of Power League. I'd also really love to be able to switch our skins in Power League. Sometimes I select a brawler and I, I don't know why, but for some reason I was just playing with their regular basic skin. I let me pick the skin too. I also seriously think that we should be able to report players for rage quitting or for purposefully throwing a match in Power League. I've talked about this a lot and before, I still stand before it. Toxic behavior is more enraging and more common in Power League. We need a way to deal with people ruining the game for us. Even if Supercell only looks to ban players with the highest number of reports, we need a way to be able to report people because some people just ruin it for other people. Also, I think that we should get credit for losses in Power League when it comes to earning the, the season skin. Maybe Supercell should make it so the wins are worth three times more than the losses. Maybe they should just give credit for wins in matches when you lose two out of the three games, but you do win one of the three games. Either way, I like that losses weren't a complete waste of my time in Power League when it comes to trying to earn that skin when Power League was first put into the game, and I want it to be more like that now. One note about Power League icons that we get, okay? It's not that I don't love the current ones that we have. It's just really not that much of a, an accomplishment to reach gold one for the icon. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys are like, dude, Gold one is hard to get. Let me know in the comment section below if you think gold one is hard to get and you don't want them to change this. But I personally think that we should get a special reward for reaching mythic or legendary or something that actually shows it off. Personally, I think a profile icon could be framed differently depending on which league we reached in this season or something like that, right? You get the idea. Also, a quick note, this is less of a feature and more of like a, an improvement that I just want to see. Gadgets and star power selections do not persist in Power League matches. You have to actually select them 
outside of Power League for them to persist. I want them to persist. When I select a gadget or a star power for a certain brawler, I want it to stay for that certain brawler the next time I'm playing a match, whether it's in Power League or outside of Power League. Another quick side note, it's been a while since Power League was released, and I think that the player curve for how high players currently are in leagues is still probably pretty low. I guess that the vast majority of players are either in low gold, maybe high silver, or are lower than that. And there are still way more leagues for people to climb up. People should have a sense of progression as they go through, and I think that decreasing how much ELO points you lose for losses and increasing how much elo you get for wins would at least be a good way for people to climb a little bit higher maybe at least until mythic or legendary this way there would be a little bit more normal of a distribution of players in leagues okay now let's talk about more advanced game mechanics and i know this video is long i appreciate you guys sticking here this is one of the, the my favorite things to talk about every brawler currently has two star powers in the game and at the time of me releasing this video there are only 12 brawlers that do not have their second gadget as well by the end of the year or soon after i think that every brawler will have their second gadget, which means that I think it is time for Brawl Stars to reach the next level of depth when it comes to the actual gameplay, the combat, when you're actually playing the game. Obviously, I think it's only a matter of time before Supercell adds third star powers and third gadgets into the game. I'm hoping for some more depth before they do that. Now, I've already done a whole video talking about new equipment called mods that you can watch right here. At that time, I neglected to realize that Brawl Stars already has modifiers in the game, like, you know, Meteor Shower or energy drink. So rather than calling them mods, I'm just going to call them equipment because I can't think of something cooler. Once again, click on that little eye in the upper right hand corner of the screen if you want full details on how, how all this would work out. But short and sweet, equipment are tools that you can upgrade separate from your brawler that aren't specifically tied to your brawler. Like you can take one attack buff equipment and buff it up and make it stronger and move it from crow to bull to colt or whatever. You could build brawlers however you want. And the idea is that brawlers could have up to three different types of equipment on them at any time. Some of them would be passive abilities like overall damage buffs or speed boosts. Other equipment could unlock active abilities like a quick heal or an insta charge super or a fast teleport. Since I've already talked about equipment a lot, I'm not gonna talk about it so much in this video, even though I really want equipment to be added to the game. So instead, I'm going to talk about a different feature that I'd really love to see. I'm talking about second supers. Second supers would be unlockable after you reach level 10, and then you upgrade your brawler to level 11. That's right, guys. The idea behind a second super is that you would have a second super that you could choose between mid battle. I know it's, it sounds obvious and it is obvious, but I, I specifically want you guys to think about what it would be like to be able to choose between supers mid battle, not before you go into battle, but you'd have the option of choosing between both of them, which yes, would mean you'd have a second joystick. But the idea is that once you have your super charged up, you could choose whichever super ability to activate. One idea for a second super could be for Jesse, right? She could activate a mecha dog suit that would give her extra HP and extend her range for a period of time or until the enemies destroyed her suit, which would be kind of like Edgar's shield, right? Sometimes it would be better for Jesse to create a turret. Other times she'd be better off using her super to jump into a mecha suit. Maybe she'd be able to throw it on her turret and then get another super and get into a mecha suit so she's like super strong right another second super could be for surge he could instantly get upgraded all the way when he activates his second super but it would only last for 15 seconds so you'd actually have to choose between upgrading surge temporarily or permanently. Leon's second super could be a ninja sword strike for extra damage, kind of like Mortis's attack. Mortis's second super could be fully reloading his ammo. I mean, there, there's so many cool different things that they could do for every single brawler in the game. We have 50 different brawlers in the game. That's a lot of brawlers to choose from. And yes, I do want Brawl Stars to continue releasing more brawlers. However, I would not complain if Brawl Stars started putting less focus on releasing new brawlers and more focus on building the brawlers that we currently have. Maybe having two supers to choose from for each brawler would be too complex. Maybe it'd be too messy. I want to know, so let me know what you think in the comment section below if you think that this would be awesome or if you would not like that. Another way that Supercell could make brawlers more complex is by adding more traits to more brawlers. I'd like to see another trait for Daryl that increases his damage for every kill since he last respawned. I'd like to see a trait for Mr. P that increases his damage when he's low on HP because he gets so angry like Mr. P does. I'd like a trait for Frank that makes him even faster, but only when he has max HP. I'd like a trout. 
I'd like a trait for Sprout that increases its movement speed, but only while in bushes. I think a trait for Brock would be cool if it sped up his reload speed, but only if he's standing completely still. They could add all sorts of cool traits into the game to make a lot more brawlers more interesting, especially the ones that just are kind of struggling uh, and have been for a while. And that's the last feature I wanted to talk about in this video. There were a ton of things that I suggested in this video. I don't know if Supercell is watching for ideas or if they're reading comments for ideas, that was awkward. But even if they aren't, I'd really honestly love to know which of these features you guys want Supercell to put into the game. Also, feel free to let me know if there are any features that I mentioned that you wouldn't want put into the game for some reason. And feel free to suggest your own concepts as well and like the comments that you see and you agree with. If you liked this video, please subscribe more and let me know if you'd like to see more suggested features that I'd like to see in the game in the future as well. And also don't forget to watch more videos right here. And you can support my channel by using code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop. It supports my family as well. For now, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.